spleen, H and E staining. The spleen is a peripheral lymphatic organ covered by a dense fibrous connective tissue capsule whose trabeculae branch into the organ. Impressive cross sections through the trabecular veins and arteries can often be observed within the trabeculae. The presented example is a trabecular artery with a distinct, well-developed tunica media. In contrast, a cross-section of trabecular vein is characterized by a tunica media poor in smooth muscle cells. The splenic stroma is made up of reticular connective tissue and the organ's architecture is composed of two separate areas known as white pulp and red pulp. The presented H&E stain specimen does not allow the visualization of reticulin cells and fibers. These structures can be observed with the use of silver staining. It is not without reason that reticulin fibers are referred to as silver absorbent fibers. The white pulp is organized around the central arterioles. These vessels are covered throughout their length by a sheath, the main cellular component of which are T cells. This area is known as the periarterial lymphatic sheath, PALS, and is the thymus dependent zone of the spleen. Lymph nodes bulging laterally in relation to the central artery may be found in close proximity to the lymphatic sheath. Since B lymphocytes are the dominant population of cells present in the lymphatic follicles, the area they occupy is referred to as the thymus independent zone of the spleen. The presence of brighter areas called germinal centers located in the center of the node, which are morphological evidence that these are secondary lymph nodes, is noteworthy. Red pulp is a network of interconnected sinuses with pulp cords called Billroth cords. Within these sinuses, there are macrophages, which are called histiocytes in the spleen. Lymphocytes and plasmacytes, as well as red blood cells and other blood cells.